imagine you're going out to a nice peaceful morning. You have your coffee and you have your, uh, your little SUV that you're about to take off. Maybe for work, maybe you're taking a nice run to the store. Um, and something just changes everything. A bobcat, let's take a look. Good morning. I need to wash my car. Turned out so good. Oh. Turned out so good. No, no, the, the coffee was no, not coffee, not the coffee. The fact he sat the coffee down and it's like you know, it's just a nice internal thought. Oh, I gotta wash my car. It's just yeah. it's such a pleasant yeah. chill morning, and it turns into like uh, literally like Armageddon starts <laughs> behind him in his house. <laughs> I understand uh, he the bobcat is the size that he picked up the bobcat and threw it. Isn't that what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so there it is. There it is. But, yeah, but I don't understand then what the, I mean, is it really worth, you've just picked it up and thrown it. I mean, I don't think you need to worry that it's gonna devour you, do you? Or, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, I I, I missed that day at school. Maybe but. some significant scrapes and cuts. I mean, I, I'd freak All out right. if I saw Bobcat in front Look, of me. The Bobcat's scared, it's hiding under the car. I mean, it doesn't want any, I don't know. But you're, I mean, I'm sure I would have been alarmed also. I don't mean to say, you know, it's not scary, but man, yeah. He went from zero to, we gotta get the F out of here <laughs> in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, I, there's so many great parts of that video. It, like. When he's like, it's a bobcat. <laughs> <laughs> now look, look, I, I, I'm a little, uh, e I'm gonna go easier on him than Mark. Mark's an animal lover, I was gonna ask him about the throne. We'll get to that in a second, right? Not to say I'm, I don't love animals, I love animals. I mean, just for sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but um, <laughs> <laughs> so no, but I, I rewatched that like it was a Zapruder film, right? Because <laughs> I was trying to understand the the uh, wife has a like a thing that she's carrying that normally holds a pet. So I'm like, wait, yeah. was the bobcat inside there and then broke out or something, right? So I was like, oh no, the bobcat comes in from the her up into the into the left, up into the <laughs> left. Right. Okay, and so I realized the bobcat attacked her from behind. Maybe it attacked her because it sensed the other animal. Exactly. Inside the cage. That's what oh, I got from it. That's See, that's what she's, yeah. She's yeah, and she's getting pulled back. No, he's really clawing at her. To be fair to the family, that was like if I was her, I would have been pretty freaked out. And if that was my wife, I'd have been a thousand times more freaked out. And so there really was a bit of a danger there to be. To okay, be, okay. At least, at least what I point. got was that that he, uh, she was carrying that uh, cage, and in that cage was I don't know a dog, a cat, one of their uh, animals. Mm -hmm. That animal reacted. I thought that was the first sound I heard of an animal was from the animal in the cage. Uh -huh. But maybe it was not. Maybe it was a bobcat. I mean, you clearly studied it in in, in greater detail than have I. But uh, and then the reaction came. You know, yeah, but I didn't no. see the clawing, so okay. Yeah, I, no, I'm the Oliver Stone of that. Bobcat <laughs> yes, <video>. yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see if you analyze this last part because we noticed this this morning. I was talking with Brett, production meeting, Ash was there, everything. And this is what I didn't notice from the first 127 times I watched this yesterday was if we roll this as after he throws the bobcat, yes? First off, the, I love the neighbor tried to help. Look at him pull out of his. His waistband. He's got something in his hand right there. He said, I'm gonna shoot that effort. I don't know if he's walking around packing in his nice, pleasant morning, but he pulls something out of his pocket or, or waistband. Wow. He's got something in his hand. Why wow. would he say he's gonna shoot that effort if the gun is in the house? You know, it's probably on him. Oh my if God. He, like, no, I, no, I stand embarrassed here, not having picked that up uh, upon the first. Yeah, that's pretty viewings. rough, Chank, for a guy who studied it so closely. That yeah, does the outfield no. on you. 
This is a, I mean, this is a bit of a low light uh, in, in my career, right? Well, I mean, I to, to make you out. feel better about it, it was kind of like Brett brought it up. And then we start, he, maybe he noticed it before, but that's when I was like, oh, wait, that's right, something is in his hand. Brett noticed that first. Yeah, no, uh, you know, it's funny because I'm rooting for him in the beginning because he seems so pleasant, right? Like, what <laughs> good morning, everybody. It's like he's out of the Truman Show or something, right? <laughs> yeah, and true. then when he got to, I'm gonna shoot that effer, yeah. I was like, you probably don't want to catch this guy, it's, <laughs> you know, on the wrong day, and the if you're the wrong person, right? I I don't know, but now that you showed me the gun, it, we don't know for sure that it's a gun, but it looks like one. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, if you were a, a young black kid and and cops were in the neighborhood, you'd be dead already because gun or not gun, they would have got you, right? This looks close enough to one. Anyways, okay, I don't mean to make it too political or racial. It's just a fun video. <laughs> but uh, but but by the way, thank God he didn't see the Bobcat again because him firing that gun would have been infinitely more dangerous than anything the Bobcat could have done. That's what I was thinking, dude. Yep. You you're gonna start shooting that gun off, trying to hit the Bobcat. It's gonna ricochet off the driveway, hit the neighbor. Who knows what? I mean, hit your car, shoot the gas tank. Who knows? Yeah. Right, we've no. got a whole we've got a whole disaster film in mind after he fires off that first shot uh, toward the yeah Bob. Yeah, yeah. Mm. no, no. I mean, thank God because it could have gotten ugly. Because look, first of all, you're gonna hit the Bobcat. Really, you're gonna hit the Bobcat. Okay, so but that's the thing that gun owners and again put the politics away. But like the gun owners, you know, they're dying for a Bobcat so they could shoot it. And I, I'm <laughs> saying. Proverbially, right? Because they would think of Bobcat, right? But they're like always imagine a scenario where there's an intruder or a wild, dangerous animal, and all they got is their gun and their coffee. And you know, <laughs> and you know, they can only they got time to drink coffee and 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 what's that saying? And and carry a, a gun, but kick ass and oh no, it's like with beer. It's like I came to <laughs> I came to kick ass and drink beer, and I'm all out of beer. Yeah, that's it. That, that's what I was going for, right? Man, did I bungle that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, Jared's like, hold my beer. Let me do this right. Yeah. Uh, all right. Okay. So, but bottom line, I want to come back to the Bobcat. Um, what would you guys have done? Uh, Mark, uh, were you offended by throwing over the Bobcat? And if you were, what would you have done instead? Well, I, I, I have to say, uh, the first thing I would have defaulted to was getting away from there. But if there was no way, if the Bobcat was on the woman, his wife, presumably, I, then you, I suppose you do have to try to get the, the Bobcat off of her. I'd try to grab the Bobcat by the neck or whatever, you know, in that scruff behind the neck and, and, and take the Bobcat off of her. That was actually kind of a courageous move and, right. and, and a cool move. I don't really have an issue with that. But, but then you got to get away from there, you know what I mean? The, the Bobcat is then scared. It's not running back to take you on. It's running back to hide under the car, you know? So uh, the, I, I, you know, I abort the mission at that point and we run into the house and drink our coffee there and then, you know, uh, <laughs> call animal control maybe or whatever. The Bobcat will, won't linger, I don't think. Yeah, we, that's we, what I do. Yeah, we just spent like uh, um, a week up in Big Bear for those who aren't local. Sit up in the mountains in California, Southern Cal, and and you know you guys know me. Come on, bro. We've seen these videos from like Lake Arrowhead of a bear. That was the funny one where it opened the the, the kitchen window and started coming inside, and the, the women inside were like, "Oh my God, it's coming!" Those were funny. Every one of these is always funny. If I'm in that situation, this is no longer funny. I'm like, okay, so we got a bobcat. What I, and I don't know how to handle bobcats. I'm just kicking, flailing. I'm gonna look crazy like a fool if I'm in the middle of one of these videos. Cause I'm panicking, but I'm also trying to be courageous. And I'm also trying to end the situation, but also don't wanna get hurt. Like there's so many things that'll go through your head at that same time. And if it actually gets a hold of it, I mean, tossing it that far, I would still be worried. And Mark, you're right. Yeah, the bobcat's trying to get away. But right now, whatever scratches or, or, or attacks we've already sustained, that's all I can think about. And I'm like, it's either him or me. My brain will not go, this bobcat can't eat me. You know, my brain would <laughs> not say that. Even because it's 100% true. But all I'm thinking is, I'm going to shoot that. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not rational, but it's exactly what I would think. Yeah. And I'd be like, where's my gun? Oh, don't own one. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> By the way, you know, uh, arguably the coffee would have been more effective. Yes. Um, right. Right. Um, so uh, 
I apparently am the only one who here who has actually uh, run into a bobcat in the wild. Um, I have, and you know what I did to it? Shot it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't know. I want to get either. That's um, why that's funny because we know you're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I ran across a bobcat, uh, and it wasn't like down the street or something. I, we were in Honduras. And uh, but it was it, by our the place we were staying. I hesitate to call it a hotel, but that you know in that she's in the ballpark <laughs> of a hotel. <laughs> okay, and there was a bobcat uh, right there uh, by our door, but in in the trees. And Jeez. man, it looks so cool. So we didn't do anything to it because it wasn't doing anything to us. But right. but we kept our respectful distance Absolutely. because that bobcat ain't nothing to mess with. I forgot. I do have a bobcat story. I'm sorry, Mark. Um, this is in college. My meeting college girlfriend. We were driving up from California, from LA to Northern Cali, up the coast. It's such a beautiful trip through Monterey on the one, all the way up. And it was this nice hiking area. It was in the mountains. And there's a big sign as soon as we got out of the car. And it's like, oh, we'll just hike a little bit. This is nice. And then the sign said, um, beware of bobcats. Do this and do that. Bobcats, bobcats, bobcats. And I said, oh, this would not be a nice hike. Let's get the F back in the car and go. And that's what we did. <laughs> That was my bobcat encounter. My yeah. bobcat encounter was seeing a sign saying there's bobcats. And I said, I read. I'm going to get my <laughs> ass back in the car. No, no, JR is the most cautious man in America. It, you, you know, if you see one of those turtle crossing signs, he's like, turn the car around. We're gone. <laughs> <laughs> but once you see your third bobcat sign, I can't fault him for at that point, like saying, okay, yeah, the hike's off, you know? <laughs> yeah. No, I, I've, I've also run across coyotes in a couple of instances. Uh, and you just stare them down, man. It's not a big deal. No, but seriously, keep it keep a distance, of course. And Mark's overall, Mark's and and Jr. are 100 percent right. And this guy, I'm gonna other than the gun, I declare him totally not guilty. You got to get the bobcat off off to your wife instantly, right? And and once you got the bobcat, I mean, you don't want to put him down. You don't want to wrestle yeah. him, right? So. I don't, I'm not positive what I would do, but I don't fault the guy for throwing him. You you got to get some physical distance from from a significantly dangerous animal. They of course it's not going to eat you, but could it claw out your eyes? Yeah, get rid of them. <laughs> no, right? It could definitely it could f you yeah. up. Yeah, for sure. I mean, has yeah. anyone ever it's seen Nick Fury? You know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but whatever you do, do not try to shoot a bobcat because that would have. I mean, imagine if you tried to shoot it while it was on the back. Like, no, oh. don't, don't, don't. Yeah. All that's going to do is panic that sets in. That's what. That's why it's not. So the faulting of people with a gun isn't that. Oh, we think you're so stupid. Humans, especially in a in a flash situation where you, unexpected panic happens. Maybe you get, maybe you miss. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, of course, of course. Uh, yeah, but you know, yeah. last thing on the on the animals. Generally speaking, they don't want a piece of you. They really don't. I mean, especially <laughs> a bobcat. I mean, it's not going to. You know, there's you don't represent food to it. Same is true of a coyote. I mean, it just doesn't. It, they'd rather avoid you. Uh, so screaming, making yourself big, all that stuff that they tell you that yeah. really does work. Now a bear. Uh, again, probably doesn't want a piece of you, but if you're between it and its cub or whatever, then there are a whole bunch of other uh, pieces of arithmetic that have to be done. But you know, on a bobcat situation, I think it's more alarming than anything else. And obviously, if that cat was on her, then wow, uh, scary for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Overall, uh, everyone involved is not guilty. Uh, to be fair to the bobcat, <laughs> right, right. he thought the animal in the cage was lunch, so he did what a bobcat <laughs> right. does. Brother man did what a brother man does. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.